Attending the Army Navy game is a tradition for many military families. One rather large family of 30 made the trip from Maryland to see the game, some for the very first time. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Koob explains how they got to be such a big crew and which team they were cheering for this year. We have 12 pounds of bacon, 80 hamburgers, five dozen eggs. Enough food to feed an army, or in this case, the Navy. Pay things forward so people will just continue to do good. And we love kids, so this has just kind of turned into our local mission. Karen Williams and her husband Mike brought their massive family of mids to Philly. Their son Sean was in the Army's 7th Group Special Forces. He died four years ago after a heart attack. The couple from Maryland began sponsoring midshipmen shortly after. We had wanted to do it for a long time and we thought it was just in a too hard pile. It's actually not. The, uh, and when we went to sponsor for the first time, we were only going to sponsor one. And they were lacking like 700 kids to have sponsors. So we picked up three. Now we have like 22. Every Saturday, the Williams open their home to nearly 30 midshipmen and their friends who cannot get to theirs, allowing future leaders to let off a little steam. We get over there on Saturday around noon, and we're there until Sunday at like 5 o'clock. Kind of de-stress from the academy and eat a ton of food. When there was a gap in tailgate leadership for this year's game, Karen and her crew stepped up. They've been sponsoring for three years, but Saturday was the first time Karen's mids made it to Philly. That's a little embarrassing, but then the boys are like, but we are yours. I'm like, okay. Mike and Karen in our case have been like amazing to us. Um, and it feels like another family. The Williams have three children, all in the military, along the Army, Air Force, and Navy, a military family that takes turns with its football allegiance. Saturday was Navy's turn. I feel like we get back, I get back far more than I give to them, but it's great. Dan Coop, CBS3 Eyewitness News.